This is a great movie. You're not going to regret it. I'm Tim Heidecker. Great guests, great conversations, and a few arguments. It's on cinema at the cinema. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to On Cinema at the Cinema. My name is Tim Heidecker, and this is our show where we talk about movies, uh, or actually review movies. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the episode for uh, the, this week. And uh, my guest is Greg Turkington. Hey, guys. Good to be here and to be part of the On Cinema family. All right. Um, oof, I am, uh, my head's in about a thousand places. Uh, <clears throat> I got back into this too quick. Well, let's just uh, talk about the movies. I could use, could use another month. Uh, and if you need a break or something, I'm always happy to post the show. All right. Um, let's talk about The Wolverine with James Mangold, directed by James Mangold, actored, acting by Hugh Jackman. Uh, I don't know any of these names. Fanky Jacobson. Famke Jansen, Brian T. Is it Brian? What the hell's a Brian T? Brian Lee. It's like a golf term or something, huh? Yeah. Well, this is a bunch of no names except for Hugh Jackman. Uh, Wolverine makes a voyage to modern day Japan where he faces his ultimate ne nemesis in a battle that will leave him forever changed. <sighs> I can't keep doing these names. If it's going to be a foreign, is this a foreign film? Uh, this movie was great. It was, uh, I love the X-Men and I love everything, uh, you know, I love a uh, great action movie. Five bags of popcorn and go see this movie because it's the X-Men and they deserve everything. And I'm a big X-head. That's what we call ourselves, us X-Men fans. So there was a lot of anticipation about a, another Wolverine movie, and uh, I have to say this is kind of the gone with the wind of Wolverine movies, the old Clark Gable classic, in that it's a long movie. Uh, if you've got back problems, bring a pillow, uh, have a couple cups of coffee, because this one goes on and on, and in the best possible way. I love the Wolverine. It could have gone on for 24 hours. I would have been if happy. You're gonna have if you're going to bring coffee, bring your On Cinema mug uh, that's available now in the store. So pick that up. Um, what, how many bags? I give it five bags of popcorn and then uh, ten cups of coffee because it's long. Be ready for the long haul. Um, our next movie is a Woody Allen movie called Blue Jasmine starring Woody Allen, uh, directed by Woody Allen. Let's hear it for Woody I'm Allen a big back Woody in Allen the saddle. Fan, so yeah. This is kind of neat. I think he's made a hundred movies and this is this will be his 101st um, with Kate Blanchett and Alec Baldwin and Peter Sarsgaard and, and Louis C.K. Louis C.K. What's his last name? This is name? an abbreviation. Those are initials. C.K. what? C.K. Lewis? It's what? like The Rock or one of these types of names where they've abbreviated it, and that's kind of cool. It's not cool. Uh, that's a story about the final stages of an acute crisis in the life of fashionable New York housewife. This is another classic. Of course, whenever Woody makes a movie, it's an instant classic because he is one of the greats, one of the masters. Um, and uh, this one gets his, uh, gets my uh, vote for Best Picture of the Year. So um, I think everyone's going to rush to the theaters to see this movie. It's his best. I did. It's funny. I used to go see these movies with my uh, wife. Uh -huh. And uh, now I have, uh, you know, this sort of this vacuum, this holes opened up. And I appreciate I went to go see the movie with you. It was the first time we've gone to see a movie together, and uh, it was a nice night. We had a nice dinner, went to Carabas, and I appreciate your company. Yeah, and I had a lot uh, of fun. We should do that more often. Absolutely. Kind of get more uh, in tune for the show, too, that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we ended up talking a lot about uh, other Woody Allen movies and mm -hmm. learned a lot about you. And, uh, and about Woody Allen, mm -hmm. and I have seen all his movies. The thing I always liked about Woody Allen was that a lot of filmmakers, they're making the movie from the wallet, and he's making it from the heart. And you can really see the difference when you watch a movie like this compared to some of the other movies we've reviewed. Well, I appreciate uh, that insight, and I appreciate the time you spent. And I was a, I have to admit, I was a little um, emotional that night. And this movie got into some sh 
relationship issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of his do. Mm -hmm. That's uh, something at Woody Allen. That's his particular interest. One of his trademarks. Uh, just like with the Bruce Lee movies, you know, there's going to be some action and some karate. Mm -hmm. And with Woody Allen, you know that uh, there's going to be some moments from the heart. Mm. Now, obviously, this is a six bagger. Six. So this is a classic, instant classic, because it's from the mind of Woody Allen. Uh, so we're not going to waste time giving it our review. What we'd like to do now is our brand new segment called on uh, called uh, actors on directors. And, on uh, cinema actors on, on directors. On cinema actors on directors. And uh, our guest uh, is um, Joe Estevez. And you'll see our interview where we talk about Woody Allen right now. Let me show the clip. Hi everybody, welcome to uh, OCP Stars on Directors. That's On Cinema Presents Stars on Directors with my uh, uh, guest Greg Turkington and a special and creator guest. creator of the segment. Co-creator of the segment. I like creating these special segments and uh, it's a lot of fun. This should be a fun one. Let's welcome our guest, the uh, movie star Joe Estevez. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. Great. Good to see you Good again, see you, Joe. Thanks for coming Nice out. to meet nice you. To meet it you is finally. a pleasure. Yes. Yeah. And, Enjoy and you. Thank you for inviting me back. I love yeah, it. Yeah, well, we're here yeah. talking about the films of Woody Allen. I wanted to get your perspective on his work and Greg, of course, yours. And, yeah. Uh, you know, he's got a new one coming out now and we reviewed it. Or we talked about it a little bit, mm -hmm. but um, have you gotten a chance to see it yet? I, I, I have not. Okay. I have not. What's your sort of perspective on him? Yeah. I don't know anybody else in, the, in making movies today that is the genius that he is. He, he is an incredible filmmaker. Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Can, well, yeah, but can he play a clarinet? I don't know. I mean, uh, <laughs> he plays a piano. If, oh, all right, yeah. But an accomplished musician. Uh, I know he's won Best Director. He's won Best Writer. Uh, I know he was nominated for Best Actor. I don't know if he yeah, won Yeah, I think actor. he won a couple times. Yeah. If so, you had a top ten list of, of American directors, where would he be on the list? He'd be about number three. Yeah. Behind Spielberg and who else? Uh, behind uh, Hitchcock and... Um, Maybe it'd be number two. What do you think is the thing that is funny about him, though? I mean, why do we laugh when we see Woody? I actually can't. I, since my surgery, I've not been able to laugh. Oh, uh, not that, gitchy, gitchy, gitchy. No, no, it's not. You don't it's laugh. Not a, you don't laugh. It's not a. Uh, I mean, I th still find things funny, but because of where the took the phony bone out, did they? The phony bone. No, out? they. Uh, there is a part of your brain that affects the ability to laugh, to make the sound of laughter. Oh, so, so you, yeah. I'm sorry? That's fine. I'm That's got to be the doggonest thing. It's what? weird, because you'll be watching something and and just nothing comes out. Yeah. But um, yeah. If, you, if Woody Allen's such a popular director, or if his movies are so uh, well-loved, why do they always be come out to be flops like what I mean not maybe not all of them but if they're so great why aren't they the number one movie of the year why don't they win the best picture these kind of questions well why hasn't it, he had Tom Cruise in his movies and those kind of things you know it's like like great writers or whatever they're never really uh, respected by it while they're alive you know uh, I, I think after he passes if he ever does well we can be very objective about his work I think we'll realize what a, a incredible filmmaker this gentleman was. If you could pick any classic comedy from the classic era of comedies from the 50s and 40s to have Woody Allen remake it in a modern setting, what would you choose? Oh, gosh. I mean, I, I don't believe any good film should be remade. I, I think it's just leave, leave well enough alone. Walk, walk, walk about away. the Nutty Professor, though? That was better the second time around. You know, you got me on that. It was. It really was. And, and, and I did way back in the day. I did the play when I was just a kid. Play it again, Sam, and play the, the Woody Allen character. In, in, in playing it, all the nuances that Through I would clip? find, the gags between it. No, it's a play. Oh, okay. Yeah, and since I, I did play it again, Sam, I, I have, I've always uh, respected his talent. And who's the new Woody Allen? Who's going to fill his shoes? It would have no. to be somebody like an Adam Sandler or uh, Eddie Murphy or somebody of that nature. Yeah. I would like yeah. to see him in, like, say, one of the Star Wars or Raiders of the Lost Ark or series like that, just in a cameo, because I, I think it would sort of make things more interesting for the viewer if Woody popped up here yeah, would, again. Yeah, you know? it would be incredible. Depends that on what they're be. offering him money-wise, you know. Yeah. I, he's probably got so much money now that he could, you yeah. know. Of course, he lives in New York. That's an expensive city. you got to think his rent's got to be $3,000 a month. Guy, I, so yeah. he's probably only got $2 billion then. No. <laughs> I always wonder why, he couldn't, why you couldn't have a Woody Allen movie that took place in Texas. It's always New York, New York. Well, he Paris. made one that took place in Texas. What was it? The uh, Manhattan, not Manhattan. 
Where was the yellow rose or the purple rose of Cairo? Where was that? Texas. Uh, there you go. Yeah. But, you know, with the old adage, you write what you know, you mm -hmm. know. Mr. Allen knows New York, so that's where he's going to. And they love him there. They do yeah, love him there. George Lucas him there. isn't from space, and he writes movies about space. So. Yeah, but he's in space. Kind of. Right. Yeah, I won't go. Anyways, Joe, thank you very much for coming thank on the you. show. What a we pleasure. Appreciate... What so, a pleasure. Thanks a lot. I had a ball. And we'll get back to the show. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, that was an, I thought that was an interesting segment. Uh, thank you to um, Joe Estevez for coming by and sharing his insight. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Show Boston legal. I have the. I still have the leftovers from Parabas. I can bring them. We can reheat them.